Hello YouTube, newsletter subscribers, this is Terrell from Terrell03.com. This is the second video in the 9-11 series about what really happened at the Pentagon. First, The first video is what really happened on 9-11, it's kind of general, I give you guys a lot of information. There's a lot to cover just with the Pentagon attack, this could be a two hour video. There's so much information, it's going to be kind of convoluted, it's difficult to put together, it's the reason nobody can believe it, it's really hard to believe what happened but I'm gonna do my best in this short video and give you links so you can run your own investigation so what's happening these Bible videos there's an hour and a half of them 15 minutes each they've been remade terrible3.com is getting an uplift a facelift and then these are going to change to videos there's gonna be stories with videos and then I'm gonna make six in the uh, project black star and so there'll be six videos in each section then I'm working right now on the what happened at the Pentagon so this is the post, it's down in the description box. Some of the information, this Terry Cohen's video has been deleted. I have uploaded a new one that is down in the description box. You need to look at that video. Stop this video, go look at that video, and then come back. Is that ladies, she was in the construction trailer out front of the Pentagon. She sat down at 9.30, at 9.31.39, they, they, uh, the ceiling tiles fell out of the, out of the ceiling of their construction trailer. They knew something had happened. They grabbed their hard hats, they ran. To the little impact hole just they were there in seconds and there was nothing but smoke listen to her testimony then she leaves she hears a big explosion that corresponds to Lloyd England the taxi driver standing out in the middle of Washington Boulevard he reported inside the building fires only 931 39 so this is what I want to show you before I get to the timeline uh, well let's back up first let's go to this picture very important this is uh, the northbound lane going to your left the rightbound lane is empty it was shut down the last car led on Lloyd England's taxi okay so he's sitting in the road right up here this is the single smoke plume that's that happens at 931 39 uh, Alan Wallace and Mark Skipper ran north hide underneath their vehicles Terry Cohen ran to the entry hole seeing the smoke and uh, let's see the other player here oh yeah Alan Wallace Alan Wallace and Mark Skipper over here their first day on the job at 9-11 the fire the fire guys from the army and then everything is going to transition here's the way that it, here's what happens after 936 27 there's Lloyd standing right there in the lower corner now you have 400 feet of fire way different because the a3 sky warrior struck that's his big boom that's Terry Cohen's uh, she called it a giant explosion big explosion or something like that in her video and these are two good witnesses that there were two attacks at the Pentagon as soon as you prove two attacks at the Pentagon then you have a control mechanism that must be on the ground and that is going to be Cheney and Rumsfeld with the assistance of these guys uh, where are they they're right here FBI special agent Chris Combs and fire chief Schwartz manipulated the fire and the firemen most of the FBI as I mentioned in the earlier video uh, most of the FBI agents they were sent out to California they were put right out of the way but here this special agent Chris Combs a former New York City fire department guy trained in fire he's been working with Chief Schwartz for years leading up to this event they arrive at the scene in seconds my traffic's all bottled up roads are closed off going to the Pentagon because the president was supposed to land at the Pentagon from the elementary school down in Sarasota Florida that's the reason that the southbound lane was closed off in the first place so you're gonna to want to read this report again it's very very comprehensive what I did is take information from the 9-11 Commission report I took it from the Arlington County after action report and show many contradictions special agent Chris Combs and his buddy fire chief Schwartz that he was third in command he was made incident commander because of his relationship with the FBI that's the reason right there well they filed a report that said that flight 93 was coming to the Pentagon they had to remove the firemen four times from the fire the first time at 9 15 I'm sorry 10 15 on the morning of the attacks the 9-11 Commission report says that flight 93 crashed at 10 03 11 five independent sources teleconferencing began again in the uh, in my book the uh, 
there's a hundred point time line here and it tells Richard Clark this is number 18 at 925 Richard Clark sets up teleconference with CIA FBI State Dep Departments of State Justice and Defense FAA the White House so air traffic control the FBI FAA teleconferencing so special agent Chris Combs knows that flight 93 crashed when everybody else knew and then about 10 minutes later he filed a false report saying flight 93 not only was still in the air but it's going to the Pentagon so there's a discrepancy Arlington County after action report says that flight 93 crashed at 1037 more than a half hour later and the reason to cover the tracks of this false report false report involving murder of Americans that's what's going on chief uh, Schwartz is in control and they've set up a command center in the Virginia State Police barracks so the feds the FBI and the county people that are in control of this disaster this inside job are working out of the state out of the uh, barracks of the state police this is federal state and local these people are working together and Americans are being murdered inside the Pentagon that's what's happening here's some more here's the evidence this is the before and after those two pictures put together I've got the Navy clock on top here's another picture of the two clocks this is the from the heliport tower 932 this is from the inside the Pentagon this is quartermaster calibrated this is checked daily to make sure that it's right by the second every second hand on every Navy clock on the planet is the same every minute hand is the same on every Navy clock in the world the difference is going to be the hour clock because of the time zones but if these clocks are off by a second the quartermaster takes them OOC they go out of commission or he tinkers with them and gets them right so my, my family's a Navy family I know about this I I told my brother I said look the Navy clock could have been off he go he was insulted there's no way and especially the one inside the Pentagon because remember the Navy controls the clocks for the Pentagon they control it and this is the Navy clock right here 931 39 the official story says that the crash took place at 9 37 46 discrepancies in the government documentation discrepancies in these uh, reports this is what I'm pointing out here with these charts with the detailed information quoted and I show precisely how and why the Justice Department should be bringing these guys in for murder because of the false reports filing of false reports amid a felony I mean uh, the murder of Americans is a felony and that's what special agent Chris Combs did with his buddy Chief Schwartz who is now chief Arden County Fire Department he's the chief because he's a murderer it's exactly what he is and it's not just me saying that it's the government documentation that proves it the Justice Department created the Arlington County after action report it does not contain the word explosions one time even though multiple explosions take place outside inside the Pentagon and that is documented in my reports so I want to show you some more of these pictures um, I showed you the before and after here's one of the best pictures of the Pentagon wall after the missile strike before the roof came down see firemen are already running around check out the height of these these cable spools this is where the missile went through this this transformer this fence right here this is where the missile came through at a 45 degree angle to create that column 14 this is column 14 right here and you see a little bitty hole it's just a little thing the the this window is not even broken third floor so you tell me how above this cable spool it's notice the cable spool is tipped back in our direction because the explosion of the missile took place behind it and pushed it back our way look at the grass no sign anywhere of any 530 mile per hour 100 ton jetliner to come here that's the most ridiculous uh, report that I've ever heard so there's a, a a lot of information here let me get back to the timeline a little bit um, Dick Cheney I'm looking at number 13 here 906 he was moved to the presidential bunker this is where he started operations remember he's in control of five global guardian war games that included tripod 2 going off in New York that's where Dan Rather had the guts to say 
Uh, how come FEMA showed up a day early and you sent him to Pier 92? What, you know, to Mayor Giuliani. Well, that's why you don't hear about Dan Rather anymore, because he could have broken the case right there. But he, so he had to be silenced. So again, you want to go to Chapter 11 from my book, 9/11 um, Truth: Exposing the Cheney Runsfield Black Operation. And uh, this could have been 200 or 300 events long, but I wanted to break it down to the top 200 events that are going to take place. And much of this has to do with the Pentagon. The stand down order, Norman Mineta, you guys have heard about the stand down order and the, the guy running in and out saying that the plane's getting closer and closer. And does the order still stand? The stand down order. The Pentagon was attacked three times on 9 11, 9 31 39, 9 36 27, and beginning at 9 32, 9 42, I'm sorry. That's whenever the, the uh, demolition of the E ring roof began. Now, the. Um, so what happens is the missile shockwave took down the five light poles out front. I'm looking for a better picture, and I'm not finding one here. I'm going to have to use this one. The, um, the, the missile strikes the Pentagon on a 45-degree angle right here at 931.39. The A-3 Sky Warrior that was carrying it, it was refitted at Fort Collins Loveland Airport. Okay, Hughes Raytheon subcontractors. Okay, I mentioned that in the last video. Well, the, uh, the bow shockwave from the missile throws it off course the plane flies over the e-ring roof it makes a circle north northerly circle comes around attacks from the north of sitco flight path and it crashes in right about here in the second story concrete slab and disintegrates because it's a flying bomb okay but the e-ring roof didn't fall because it needed the combination of the two the missile strike and the flying bomb the a3 sky warrior in order to cause the movement of this wall to come out since they didn't have the two what happened was there's a there's a uh, expansion joint a control joint at column line number 11 that's what they were working with well the wall fell a foot and wedged that's why they had to start controlled demolition and that runs until that's the multiple explosions that you're going to hear in the news reports in the background they're blowing up this wall to make it look like that flight 93, I'm sorry, flight 77 crashed through here. Again, N644AA has never been assigned to a jetliner in American Lines, Airlines history. That was created from the Global Guardian War Games, and the Joint Chiefs are actually the ones that attacked the Pentagon. They had to attack the Pentagon to get rid of the witnesses looking for the $2.3 trillion just behind this wall. Navy commanders in the strong room, if I draw a 45 degree line from here, that's where you're going to be. And then through the wedge two, Crosswall, that's where the the defense intelligence officers, seven of them, that's where they were murdered. Good guys were put right into harm's way, bet like April Gallup. She sat down right at the attack time. She went through the security and they let her kid come with her. Their first day back on the job. She was rushed and set down, forget security protocol, and she thought she caused the explosion. She pushed the button at exactly nine thirty one thirty nine on her computer she thought she caused it she ended up walking right out this hole at about 940 according to my timeline so um, this is what really happened at the Pentagon I've got another report here that you're going to want to look at those of you doing your own investigation and it has to do with the rebuttal to ACFD Arlington County Fire Chief um, Edward Plotter this guy is a liar and he's a conspirator along with Chief Schwartz and Special Agent Chris Combs. He lies, he lies, he lies throughout his testimony right here. I quote him and I show the evidence saying that he's a liar. And he's covering up exactly what happened on 9-11. So again, this is, a, this is a damage report on the columns. This is, see, this is the Navy strong, uh, the strong room for the Navy commanders. This is where the second submunition bombment took off. So my... My work as a general contractor working with blueprints helped me to identify the blast points for these three submunition bomblets. So some of these links are going to work, some are not going to work. My old YouTube channel was was deleted, but uh, this is a good start for you guys. This is video number two. I'm going to cover more of what really happened on 9/11 in a six-video series, and include as much of the information as possible so that you can run your own investigation. Don't believe me? Don't believe anybody? Run your own investigation. But you're going to see inconsistency in the government documentation proving that our own officials are 9-11 murderers. And there's no limit on 
murders. Okay, see you in the next video.